Hey friends, welcome back. Would you pay money to get into a chamber where the air temperature was negative 220 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 140 degrees Celsius if there were health benefits from doing so? All right, so in this video, I'm going to share exactly what cryotherapy is, what it is and is not potentially good for, and stick around to the end because I'm gonna share my experience with pictures of doing cryotherapy, I went once a week for a month. I did the coldest temperatures that they would allow you to do. And I'm gonna let you know and show you exactly how that all went. Personally, I've been on the fence for quite a while. I think we've all been hearing about it for quite a while. The biggest thing holding me back, I think was just, I didn't understand it. I didn't know what it was for, what it was supposed to do. I didn't know where I could possibly do this. It sounded like it was gonna be really expensive and unpleasant. And honestly, those temperatures kind of sounded like they should kill you. But then Chris Hemsworth told me and millions of others in his TV series Limitless, but I like to pretend that he's talking just to me. So he told me all about the health benefits that can come from extreme cold exposure. And the first thing that actually got me intrigued about this was ages ago, I was watching The Ellen Show, massive fan of The Ellen Show, so sad when it ended, but she had Mark Wahlberg on her show. And he said that he used one after all of his workouts. So he got into one of these crazy chambers after every workout because it helped him to recover faster. And he's crazy fit. So I, whatever he says he's doing, I kind of put a lot of stock into it. And I think he might have even said he had one in his house. Don't fact check me on that, I'm not sure. <laughs> but it really sounds kind of on brand for him. So in my research, and once I started looking into this, I realized that it wasn't just Chris Hemsworth and Marky Mark that are doing this. There are all sorts of celebrities that are massively into cryotherapy. A few of them that I came across are LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Floyd Mayweather, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, Jessica Alba, Mandy Moore, Jennifer Aniston, Demi Moore, Justin Bieber, and Megan Fox just to name a few. So what cryotherapy is, it's a therapeutic treatment that involves exposing your body to really cold temperatures, usually in some sort of cryotherapy chamber, or there are also cryotherapy devices to do more spot types of treatment. So the goal with cryotherapy, I've learned, is to reduce pain and inflammation. You can increase athletic performance, enhance the immune system, and promote just general overall wellness. So the sessions usually last about two to four minutes and you have a range of cold that you can expose yourself to anywhere from between about minus 100 to 140 Celsius and negative 150 and 220 Fahrenheit. And is it just me or do Americans say negative and the rest of us say minus or is it just Canadians that say minus? What do you say? Tell me in the comments. Do you say minus or negative when you're talking about temperature? So the extremely cold temperatures cause your blood vessels in your body to constrict, which can help with inflammation, it can reduce pain and help with muscle soreness. And then additional benefits that we potentially get from this is that after therapy, our blood vessels re-expand bringing more oxygenated, oxygenated blood into our body, which can have additional uh, health benefits. So is there any scientific research to back all of this up, all of these health claims up? When I went to my cryotherapy session, they had a list on the wall of things that you were supposed to get out of it that was so over the top, it, instead of making me a believer, it almost made me skeptical. And one of them was, I think, burn 400 calories per session. It just seemed insane. So I really wanted to know what the science was behind this. So what the research is showing us so far is around reducing muscle soreness and recovery time after exercise. There's also some evidence to suggest that it can be helpful for reducing pain. It can be helpful for some skin conditions. It can be helpful for reducing inflammation but the quality of the research is mixed and we do need to do more research to fully understand the impact that this is having on our body. So knowing that everything that I've just shared and everything that you know from outside of this video, would you consider giving cryotherapy a try or have you done it already? Let us know in the comments and let us know why, because the more of us that talk about this and the more we can kind of share experiences and get a better understanding of what this has been like for people. That show Limitless with Chris Hemsworth, if you haven't seen it, sounds like I'm paid to promote it. I only wish I was on Chris Hemsworth's team. 
By the way, my husband knows about the celebrity crush. It's on my approved list. Um, he's already told me that he has a crush on Chris Hemsworth's wife. That was a mouthful. So I kind of feel like we're okay. <laughs> so on the show, their experts talked about some of the benefits that you can get from it. And he talked about some of the benefits that he's seen from it. And this included increased energy. So cold exposure is said to help boost energy levels and increase your alertness. Improved immunity. So regular exposure to cold water can help improve the immune system and make it stronger. Reduced inflammation, like we've talked about. So cold therapy has been found to reduce inflammation in the body, which is linked to a number of chronic diseases. Improved mood. Cold exposure is said to trigger the release of endorphins, which can help improve mood and reduce feelings of stress and anxiety. And then lastly, better circulation. This cold exposure can potentially improve circulation and help bring oxygen and nutrients to the body cells. So when I first started looking into all of this, I thought, well, maybe I'll start with an ice bath because that just seemed less scary. And incidentally, I did do an ice bath when I had this thought and it was horrifying. I put two bags of ice in my tub with cold water and it was like shooting pain throughout my whole body, which got me really kind of scared about cryotherapy because at the temperature of my bath, I had this little ducky thermometer and <laughs> that I used for my puppy's baths and it wasn't really that cold and the temperatures for cryotherapy are way colder. So um, that was concerning. But thankfully, I got the final nudge from a friend of mine here in San Francisco. She sent out a message in a group text saying that she wanted to give it a try and asking if anyone would want to go. And I was the only person who responded. Everyone else was just crickets. But Lynn and I went. We went to a place called Reboot Cryo Float and Spa or something like that. Uh, reboot, float, and cryo spa. There we go. And the cost for here was $70 per session or $150 for a pack of three. Now, virtually everything in San Francisco is way more expensive here than it is the rest of the world. So if you have this where you live, there is a decent chance that it's gonna be significantly cheaper um, than I'm gonna get it here. So what made you decide to try cryotherapy? Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving that show Limitless and whatever Chris Hemsworth tells me to do, I, I mean really, who doesn't do whatever Chris Hemsworth says to do, so. Yeah. And did you do a lot of research on it or are you just gonna try it? No, not really, but so many people have been talking about it lately and I keep reading about it everywhere, so. Yeah, yes and no, I guess. I haven't purposely researched it, but it's so in your face. I'm starting to think there must be something to this. Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> what do you hope? Pun Literally. intended. Yeah, pun intended. And what do you think you'll get out of it? Um, or what are you hoping for? Immortality? <laughs> <laughs> um, just overall better health. Um, like, what do they say? It's better for your immune system. I've read it might be better for like my, sorry, I've read it might help you build collagen. I don't know if that's true, but if that is a thing, that would be really nice. But I'm anxious to see how it all turns <laughs> out afterwards. I want to have the after as well. Yes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so here's how it all went. You come in, you sign some waivers, they put you in a changing room with some instructions on what to leave on and what to take off. And basically you take off everything except your underwear, as long as your underwear doesn't have any kind of metal in it and you can't have any metal anywhere on your body. And then since at this place, we're getting into a cryo chamber that you're completely enclosed in because there are different kinds and some of them have an open top and then you don't have to have the same sort of protective clothing on. So once we stripped down to our underwear, then we had to put on uh, these big thick socks that went up to our knees, then these big giant puffy slippers and a neck gaiter to pull up over our neck and our mouth and our ears, and then also a big, thick pair of gloves. And then we put on a robe, we walk over to the chamber, and when the chamber is cooled off and ready to go, we ditch the robe and we get in. And one of the things that I thought was really cool is they have speakers inside the chamber and you get to pick what song you want to listen to while you're in there. So Lynn and I determined that the best strategy was to find an upbeat, three minute song because that's how long the session was. So when the song was up, we'd know our session was done. And then we'd have like a happy song to sing along to and distract us while we were in there. And really, I can't believe how easy it was. All the buildup around these sessions, I thought they were gonna be just so intense and they were really fine. 
you're cold, but it kind of reminds me of when I used to work in bars and restaurants and we'd have those walk-in freezers for food. It kind of to me felt like walking into one of those. Now granted these cha chambers are probably a bit colder than that, but it really was okay. And with the music blasting and kind of like the smoke all around you, uh, I had a lot of fun. I was dancing the whole time that I was in there and it went by really fast. There was no feeling of like panic or this needs to end or I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I remember the number one thing that I was thinking is, oh my goodness, let me become rich so that I never have to do an ice bath again. <laughs> this is way better. So have I seen any benefits from this? So I've done it four times over the span of a month. And one of the things they say that you get from cryotherapy is that uh, you get an endorphin hit from it. And I don't know if it was the music or just doing something fun with a friend, but I definitely, both of us, found that we were like really happy and um, did kind of feel like that happened. And I purposely worked out before every session. I went to the gym and I almost always did leg day because that's the hardest one for me to recover from my legs. Oh my goodness, I'm just in agony for like the next two days. And after these sessions, uh, it was really minimal. My muscle soreness after the gym was significantly less than it usually is. And my friend Lynn noticed that she slept better after the sessions, but I unfortunately didn't notice this one. The rest is really hard to say because there are so many anecdotal or um, not scientifically fully supported claims from cryotherapy. And a lot of them are hard to really know. I did it help with my inflammation? I have no idea. So I think at this point you're taking a bit of a leap of faith. And if I had the money, I would definitely keep going. It's a bit pricey for my budget. And as much as I don't love the ice baths, they are way cheaper. <laughs> They're almost free. They're just the cost of a bag of ice. So if you're Mark Wahlberg and you can afford to have one in your house, then I would say go for it. As for the rest of us, I think the jury is still out and it's going to be up for to you to decide, see if something about this resonates, if some of the potential benefits are some of the things that you're currently struggling with, and then it might be worth giving it a go. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll like this one that I'll link up here on the screen that is going through the top 10 evidence-based strategies for being happier in your life. So here we really are just looking at 100% of the science on how to be happier um, and enjoy your life more. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it and I hope to see you in this next one.